people who are simply born evil, could be people who've uh, had not the best chances in life, um, people who've had things go wrong in their life without, you know, through, through no fault of their own. So it could be, it could be a mixture of people. Fraud and that kind of thing, but obviously then you've got mass murderers and, you know, rapists and all kinds of criminals. In most cases, just bad people who break the law. Anyone. Doesn't, uh, race, colour, creed, or class doesn't matter. It's circumstance. I don't, I don't, I don't agree that they deserve any care. Because no, they're in I prison. They're that. in prison for a reason. Even though they're in prison, they're still entitled to, uh, you know, to be to be looked after. To, to resume. they're still members of society. So yeah, do you think that's important? Yeah, obviously yes. Of course they should. Yeah, part of any humane society, that should that should be the case. Yeah, prisoners are meant to get the same health care. As... Are you being serious? Yeah, serious. You didn't the know same health care as us? That's not very fair. The NHS is uh, applicable to everybody. It doesn't matter what station you are or where you live or what you're doing. If you're ill, the NHS is supposed to be there for your care. Aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it, but just. If any. Maybe just none. So no health care. No health care. Well, I think, you know, they, they should be it should be left to, to be able to fend for themselves really. Uh, I can see why many people would say no. Um, but I think if you're if they're in something like a prison, um, which is part of the overall setup of this country, you know. Someone's done something wrong, so they go to prison. They, no matter what they've done, I think they should still be looked after. Um, so yeah. Well, at the moment, I'm working on a project that looks at what medicines are used to treat mental illness in prison. So we've put together a group of ex-prisoners, men, women of different ages with different experiences and backgrounds, and we asked them to come in on a monthly basis to help the team out, and they advise us on questionnaires, um, posters, basically they help us with materials, anything that the patient might see in prison. We call that service user involvement, so in offender health research, Prisoners are also patients, so they're our service users and they're who we should be talking to. I went to prison um, back in 2007 for possession of a firearm. Um, back then I used to make a lot of wrong choices. Um, I used to sell drugs um, and I was into crime basically, yeah. Prison healthcare, it, it needs a lot of work to be done in prison healthcare because a lot of prison healthcare is, is not like how they say it is basically. Um, for me, my, my experience of prison healthcare was, it wasn't great at all. Um, it needs improving and that's what I'm here for, to help improve the way prison healthcare is run. I first went to prison when I was um, 15. So before, my life before that was um, pretty, um, very unmanageable as a kid, not knowing my way. Um, I was feeling to survive. I was getting involved in a lot of drugs, recreational life. Nineties, eighties, there was no help. There was a um, 24 hour bang up, 23 hour bang up. There was no help. There was maybe a paracetamol. <laughs> the healthcare was very, very poor then. There was no kind of detox unit. It was just, if you're a heroin addict, that's it. You're, if you've got any type of mental health, that's it. You just get banged up. Um, people's left to rot, basically. It was so hard to see the doctor from once you got, from when she first went into the prison and then you could be waiting up to six, six weeks later. So for me, that was something, it was more of a concern than anything. 
Prisoners are an important group because they are socially disadvantaged and they often have quite complex needs. They have multiple needs, mental health, physical health, drug and alcohol problems, and often a combination of all of those. Um, and also because of their social disadvantage, they may not have had those needs addressed in the community, not engaged with services. So coming into prison provides an ideal opportunity to engage them with services and treat the needs. What type of projects do you do at OHRN? We started off doing a needs assessment project, so looking at what are the needs of people coming into prison, their health needs, that sort of thing. But recently we've moved on to more looking at um, interventions and doing larger randomised control trials to see which interventions would work for this group. Uh, research in general is important to develop evidence-based interventions and so the same is, is true for prisoners as well as a general population. Therefore it's important to do research with prisoners so that we can establish what works, which interventions are particularly helpful to meet their needs. What I do in the research group, I'm, I'm part of um, a, an advisory group. Um, we sit down and we advise on how the prison regime is run, how the prison systems run um, to do with any form of medication or anything like that that's going to get prescribed in prisons or um, even just the running of the medication system itself. Yeah, I've gained a lot of things from um, participating in research. I've, I've learned um, how to analyse um, different materials. I've learned how to um, do qualitative research, quantitative research. Um, they've actually put us on a research, um, a research course that is um, that's taught at master's degree. So you, there is a lot of opportunities and there's um, different projects that I do as well. I do prevention of suicide in prison. I'm also a, um, a community liaison group member. I'm a core group member for that. Um, and I'm also gonna be on an, another project called Insight as well. So there's a lot of opportunities and yeah, you can learn a lot. I think it's benefited um, Natasha working at the university because I've seen her confidence grow tremendously from the time she's come out of prison to now it's just like, she's a completely different person. Um, she's just motivated and very determined to make a change. I think that the work in the university is really good because it gives ex-offenders an opportunity to change something, to change their lives. I wouldn't never look back and I would encourage anybody to get involved some way, somehow, because it's not the all, end all and be all just because you've got a criminal record that doesn't you, it doesn't mean that you, you'll never get an op, another opportunity there's opportunities here because I'm sat here and I'm doing it so basically wow you know and for, for my self-esteem it's right up there at the moment so yeah and um, I'm I'm inspiring other people and this is what I want to do I like to help Service users in research is really beneficial for us because essentially they're experts by experience and this allows us to gain insights that we wouldn't otherwise have. And this also allows us to keep our research relevant, focused and also it makes our research more cost effective because we're able to concentrate on relevant avenues. Well involving prisoners makes our work more relevant. I've never been to prison but they have so they know what it feels like to be a prisoner and a patient. They know how best we should approach people, what the problems might be, and how to overcome any challenges that we might face. What have I got personally? Um, I think um, before I got involved with the research, I think my confidence was very low. I think my self-esteem was non-existent. You know, um, I got to have a voice back in the prison. I got to be around um, people who were involved in research. I was, you know, I got a lot of um, confidence building from it. I could never stand in front of a camera. Um, 
couldn't even speak to the shopkeeper, never mind speak to people who were in university. So I, I've got a lot of confidence out of it. I've got a lot of, um, of my recovery out of being involved in, in, in this research. I've got to be the eyes and ears in the prison. Um, I've got to give something back and, and you know, and be of some sort of um, service. I actually found out what life is for. Life's just not for going to jail and spending life living on the streets and abusing my body on a daily basis. Um, there's actually more to life, isn't there? In the research in prison or healthcare in prison, who best to ask other than someone who's actually been involved in the prison, who's been in the prison, who's been involved in the healthcare, they can, they can answer questions that a researcher can't because they've not had access to that um, healthcare or that prison. You know, I'm not, um, I'm, I've not been to college and studied this. You know, I, I hope that I can give, um, give people in the prison some hope that they can also do this. Because when people think about universities, they, it's just beyond them. And really, you know, they're all human. They have a pulse, like, um, like, you know, so why can't they get involved in research? How do I help others now? Um, I come to meetings three, four times a week to show people who, who are still on drugs or people who are struggling to get off drugs that it is possible. You know, see, I believe seeing is believing. Um, people see me who have been to prison with me, begged on the streets with me, um, solved a big issue with me, and now they see me. You know, I'm no longer 10 stone, and I put all this weight on, and, and I'm doing okay, and I've got peace in my life, and they can have what I've got. We're all, we're all here to be treated as humans, and just because you've been to prison, that doesn't mean, you know, you're supposed to be treated any other way because anybody can end up in prison, anyone. Now, now today, through, 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 my, through the health service, through my community drug team, I serve a purpose in life. We're looking for ex-offenders to help get involved in our research projects right now. If you've been to prison and you want to know more about getting involved in research, then contact the University of Manchester, the Offender Health Research Network, or go to our website at ohrn.nhs.uk.